Okay. Hello, people. Um, this is P1 from this year's RMO. And um, basically, it's given us this sort of equation where we need to find solutions to A squared plus B squared plus C squared is equal to D squared. Um, and basically, across all of these possible solutions, you want to find the largest M such that M divides A, B, C, D for all such solutions, A comma B comma C comma D, where these are all natural numbers. Uh, yeah, so the point is, okay, for starters, I can see quite clearly that one square plus two square plus two square is three square because one, four, four, nine. So that's cool. So in fact, we have that, you know, A, B, C, D equal 12 is a solution. So M has to divide 12 for starters. So M actually is already bounded by 12 because it has to belong to one, two, three, four, six, twelve. 12. Um, and now it's just a question of, you know, which of these is the answer. So one actually cool idea here to notice is that um, if you look at the entire equation modulo three, then you can actually in fact get that at least one of these has to be divisible by three because um, all squares are either zero or one mod three because if A is zero mod three, then its square is also zero mod three. If it's one or two, then the square either way is like one or four and four is also one mod three. So the point is that squares are always zero or one mod three. And um, what this means is that if you put this in the equation over here, you know that the RHS is like either zero or one. If for example, it's uh, zero, then either all of these were zero or all of them were one. That's the only case. Because if you have zero, one, one or something, that's not gonna work. And for if for the other example is where D is one, um, in that case, exactly the one of them will be one. It'll be like zero, zero, one, one or one, zero, zero, one. Either way, the point is that the worst case in terms of the number of zeros is this one. And even here you have at least one zero. Here you have two zeros and here you have like four zeros. So the point is at least one of the numbers is always going to be divisible by three. So you can always be quite sure that A, B, C, D is going to be divisible by three. So we don't really need to consider these ones, um, which are not divisible by three. Uh, now the only question is, you know, what is the same thing now we want to do for two? Because we want to figure out whether we can say it's 12 or we'll have to stick to three or something. So you do the exact same thing, mod four. Um, and you can, first of all, start with two, but you won't find that very useful because squares can just be anything mod two, like zero or one. So that's not very useful. If you look at it mod four, again, this is pretty cool that squares are zero or one, because if you have A is two mod four, then its square is four mod four, which is zero. If it's three, then its square is one mod four. So either way, the squares are always zero or one mod four. And doing the exactly same thing gives you that at least um, one of the things here is going to be, um, or actually it's not that equivalent. Um, so there is one case because now actually this thing doesn't work, right? Because three is different from four. So you can't say one plus one plus one is zero, it's three. So the cases that work now are like zero, 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 which is fine. Um, if you have zero here in particular, in fact, all of them have to be zero because you can't get to zero by even adding three ones or two ones or one one. So that's one case. And the other case is where you have one here and then you have something like zero, zero, one. And it has to be this, right? Because you can't get to one by adding less than five ones or just zeros. So the point is that these are like the only two basic cases. And either way you have like at least two things that are divisible by four. So two things where the square is divisible by four, which means that two things where each individual number was divisible by two. So two divides A and two divides B first, or maybe C and D or something like that. And um, that means that four divides the product. So in particular, like we got that four and three both divide the product, no matter what happens. And in particular, the answer over here is M equal 12 because 12 is indeed um, an upper and lower bound.